Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. All right, now let's get back to the books this week I liked. And I said, as I said before, I had five books this week. Four of them were blind bots. And every one of them are on my list this week. This is the third best this week. And this was a very kind of hard decision. Well, this one, you know, was going to go third or second. And it is Cult of Dracula number one by Source Point Press. Is that Source Point Press? Yes. Number one. It is... Hmm. Where is... Oh, yeah, the title page is... Over here, it is written and created, created by Rich Davis. Trevor Richardson is the colors. And Henry Martinez does the pencils and inks. Okay. Culture Bracket. It starts out at like this church. Kind of weary guy comes up, looks. He just kind of screams cop, and of course, it is, he is, because you can see, you know, church is all wiped out, have a guy right there, CSI, all these bodies are all over the place, investigates a woman, uh, neck wound, decapitated, going over all this stuff, and then he leaves. Title page. So we get to the next installment, or next part. It is cameraman Jonathan Harker and reporter Mina Murray. Yes, they are flat out just going with the same names of everybody in, the, in Dracula. They are there to do a report port on what is it called Ordo Dracul the order of the dragon it's an organization so secret not many people have known about it before and they're there to do an investigation they've been waiting there for you know, hours to talk to the leader of this group and, and gee all of a sudden a little bit of smoke comes up, and here is the spokesman. And he's like, all right, I'm going to take you in. I'm going to talk. You can talk to the leader. I'm in charge. You, you don't, you know, uh, you don't ask any questions. I don't approve. You, you know, if I say stop, you stop, blah, blah, blah. And she runs in while the cameraman has to stay outside for a second to pick up something. And this young little girl hops out from underneath the van. Her name is... Oh, uh, what is... Lucy. Lucy Van Westerna, I think her name is. You know. Uh, she's one of the cult members. And she's worried that uh, this guy is coming to take her away. Then you have another guy show up. Who is Arthur Holmwood. The guy in the suit, who is also a member of uh, the cult. He was, his family made lots and lots of money, and he gave it all away to the people in the cult. Then you have, boom, dude show up, and they're arguing. Uh, he's just got this weird thing where he's talking about a gun. Is the gun evil, or is the person using it evil, or is it just a tool? And he just goes off on some weird 
rant as if he's trying to convince people of something. And then you get the cop and then you have uh, the reporter going inside and she sees a door open and sees this. <laughs> and says that she's ready to go in and do some investigating. That's where it's left off. Uh, I wasn't sure what, whoa, I wasn't sure what I was getting into when I bought this, but it looks good. I mean, the art is fantastic. The story is very well done. Not sure about the really weird diatribe in the middle by the crazy guy, but I'm sure that'll be explained at some point. Uh, you don't have a lot of you know, information at this point. You know, uh, but you do have enough to get intrigued, to be intrigued. And I like this setup. Modern day, same people modern day, investigating kind of a cult. And yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was pretty impressed with this. So I'm going to say it's 3.5 out of five and, uh, definitely going to be getting the second one because it seems like it's an, a new different take. Okay. Uh, that's redundant there, I guess, but a, a different take on the whole. Uh, Dracula thing. So let me know if you read it. What did you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, like, subscribe, and enjoy your comments.